yeah. Apples and bananas. Mm -hmm. That's how it's favorite song. Apples and bananas. Mm -hmm. Episode 15 of the Algorithm Podcast. We are recording now. Did you guys see how many followers we got off of that thumbnail? Mm -mm. 27. Whoa. 27 followers. Uh, the last time I checked, which was yesterday, we could be more today. Yeah, make sure you guys follow the socials. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're actually recording? Been recording. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, Garrett, this is what we really need to do. I was like sitting way back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we talked about that because like Carl like, always get thinks, out. He, he thinks he like starts the intro like nervous and stuff. So I was like, let's just start. He just like jumps right into it and I don't yeah, even realize. That's how Rogan always does his shit. Like he'll be talking and then they'll just start. Hey. So go get there. your sister. Go in there. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Do you put them in the description? I've never really looked. I think it's episode 15. Yeah, I think it's got to be. Welcome back to the Algorithm Podcast. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can tell. I'm so excited. You don't get to rock back and forth this time. No. I'm just going to twiddle my fingers the whole time. We'll invest in another computer chair. So me and Carl actually talked about this the other day um, to kind of surprise you guys. Yeah, I was listening to Did it. Did you too. guys see anything about what happened in Miami at the mall a couple of days ago? No. I think it was the day after New Year's. I haven't brought it up to you because I've been wanting I haven't to brought it up surprise. to you either because we wanted to surprise, surprise you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, Bayside Mall. Bayside Mall uh, in Miami. Oh, yeah. There were reports of 10 foot aliens. aliens walking through the mall. Video. Um, there was over what 70 the cops dispatched to the scene, there was uh, military helicopters. All, all uh, flight in and out of Miami was shut <laughs> Ten down. Ten foot tall. Yeah. The, the size mall, of a the basketball. Mall? Bayside Mall. They said that the aliens looked like they were shadows, but they were solid at the same time. Yep. Eyewitnesses said when they were running, like, because, like, so there was, I listened to something that someone said that they were in the mall and people started running out of the stores like there was, like, a shooter or something, like oh mass hysteria, okay? And then when he's, this guy and his family seen these people running out, behind them walked these three 10-foot-tall aliens. You're about to see something that says it's a hoax and shit, but it, it's meant to say that. It's it's not. It's, I've not seen anything so on social they have media like, like this. They have, like, plenty of video of, like, people running out of the mall. All the cops out in front of the mall. There's literally, like, 70 police cars out in front of it. They blamed it on... Um, kids fighting and letting off fireworks. Yep. There's been other stuff that they said. I feel was. like didn't the government just recently like release knowledge the aliens? So why are they trying deal. to cover it up now? Well, they're not really covering it up. It's just like me and Garrett talked about. They're they're putting it in a crock pot and they're putting it on low. Yeah. They're not giving it to you all at once. Ooh. So these people just the tip. Just the right, tip. right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So when they when they're running out of the mall and these aliens walk out, they notice like these aliens are like really metallic and shiny, and when they would move, they would they would glitch, like Ew, shit, like what? like glitch, like kind of like skinwalkers, but like oh, okay. in and out, like dimensional glitching. Yeah. So I don't know if you know this. Wait. Glitching like they're like they like walk. like like TV static glitching. Yeah, like, yeah. like so they they said they might Imagine. appear here and then be over here like like just did, 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 away. like they uh, weren't walking it was more like a glide and they would glitch. So they were. this lady has a theory. You're gonna tell me something I wanted to say. I already know what you're gonna say. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn it. So go ahead. I'll start the first part. You can finish it. No, you go ahead. Okay, so this lady has a theory. So if you put in the coordinates, yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you put in the coordinates of Bayside Mall, right? Put in the coordinates of where that's at, and then you flip them, turn the coordinates around. It puts you dead center in Antarctica. Yeah. And the biggest theory about Antarctica is there's aliens living under the ice. Is that why you cannot travel right. to Correct. Antarctica? That's I've heard that. Theory. It's also one of the things with like flat Earth is like that's why you can't go to Antarctica because like they basically, no matter where you're at in the world. Antarctica is below you, right? So like yeah. they they think that like flat Earth is like they say Antarctica is like all the way around us because mm -hmm. it's flat and you can't go beyond that. They're, they say there's actually like more land beyond Antarctica. Yeah, that's, so the, that's yeah. part of the treaty that you can't go past it. So, so the another theory, episode, but yeah. So the theory is is when they're traveling. Go ahead. The glare. 
you're talking about the firmament, which is like the, the off same of it flat, that flat makes earth. it. Yeah. 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 So the theory is, is the reason why these coordinates are backwards is they actually put the coordinates in backwards. And, and when they traveled, they interdimensional travel. They go from here, 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 here. So they wanted to go back to Antarctica, but they actually put them in backwards and went to the Bayside Mall. So the aliens Pretty random. Up. They nope. fucked up. Well, if uh -oh. you think about Chinese reading, Chinese reading, they read from right to left. Right to the left. Who's the most advanced? Who has the most advanced technology in the world right now? So China's Chinese. just fucking us. <laughs> you know, right. COVID. For right. China. China's Ooh, so far. China's so far ahead of us. That's what. That's why they're saying the aliens probably read from right to left, and they fucked it up and put it backwards and went to Miami. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's no, a lot. <laughs> welcome to you? Miami. Yeah. She said, "Welcome to Miami." Uh, actually, seen some like. Some memes and some TikToks, and they were playing like a, they had like an alien in a car, and it was like <laughs> um, playing Will Smith. Yeah. To Miami. <laughs> the thing is, is like people will say that it was actually people outside running, but if you look at the video closely and you compare the a the whatever they were to the cop cars that they were standing beside, they weren't fitting in them cars. They were really ten feet tall. That's wow. fucking crazy. I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. There was the only thing that would pop up was videos, but I'm not about to play it on this. There's actually um, some video that they're saying like they have video of the alien and you can kind of see like kind of what we're talking about. It looks like kind of like a, I don't know, like just kind of like a shapeshifter. Like, yeah, shapeshifter like. type thing. It's kind of just floating across. It's from like a, like a higher view, like an overhead view, probably from some like High rise like apartment helicopter or something, or across the street or something, but yeah, yeah, wow. you guys check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! I'd probably rather wow. not. Mm -mm. I just don't even want to yeah. know. That shit right yeah. there freaks Erica out. Yeah. Like thinking about that, it freaks her out. No, I'd rather talk about the aliens than cartels and stuff. I don't want to talk. Oh, yeah. uh -uh. That's that's bad stuff. Dude. I don't want them oh. coming and looking for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Episode fifteen of the Algorithm Podcast. Today we're talking about Gypsy Rose. Blanchard, not Blanchard. Not Blanchard. Not Blanchard. Not, no, e on the end. Yeah, no E on the end. Before we get into this episode, be sure to follow the socials. Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Threads. Uh, stick Am. Stick Am. Um, what do we think about Gypsy Rose? Like, it Victim, was... Um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Per not perpetrator murderer <laughs> or victim yeah that's the biggest i guess that's the biggest like line in the sand is is she, do you think she what she did was justified or do you think what she did was heinous i personally asking, okay yeah, no i mean you can answer it i mean it's i don't think dd deserved to die for what she did i feel like Justice was and it wasn't served. She mm -hmm. she should have went to prison. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Gypsy or Nicholas's place to do what they did. So they are serving their time for their crimes. Um, but no, Dee Dee did not deserve to die. But fuck. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> she went through some stuff. Yeah, I, I see it from both sides. I really do. Yeah, I'm going to come back and ask you guys that same question after this episode. Or after we're All done right. with this. Okay, let's get into it. Gypsy Rose was born in 1991. Who was born in 1991 was a baby when Dee Dee claimed her daughter had sleep apnea. When Gypsy was eight years old, Dee Dee described her as suffering from leukemia and muscular dystrophy and said she had required a wheelchair and feeding tube. The list of medical problems that Dee Dee related about her daughter would go on include, to include seizures, asthma, and hearing and visual impairments. Do you know how this all started? Uh -uh. All of it. Was it the motorcycle accident with her grandpa? Mm. And she she got her a leg. like a scraped leg and she from a motorcycle ER accident. Like, oh, take her home, let her rest. And she was like, wheelchair. out came the wheelchair. <laughs> yep. She just scraped her leg and they put like a fucking cast and brace on her leg or something. She just had a scrape on it and her yeah. mom put like a fucking Ripped cast on it and broke it. Well, I mean, that's you know, that's kind of <laughs> obvious from anything I've watched about this is the lady, the mom's obviously crazy. Uh, yeah. Like she was into witchcraft and shit. Yeah. So. I didn't know about that. I she obviously has this, you know, distorted way of looking at life. And, you know, even if it is just to get the, the benefits of having mental a sick disease. Child, yeah. Definitely it truly is like disease. a mental disorder. Yeah. And you're, you're also taking advantage of the system doing stuff like that, too. So, did you know Didi's mom had similar issues? That's wild. So it sounds like obviously the, the mental stuff. Hereditary. Yeah. Hereditary, bad shit, crazy chick. 
which is scary. It's like, no. Gypsy is a real person. Yeah. Who's yeah. alive to this day. Yep. Yeah, shout out, out to her. And out of prison. <laughs> shout out to her husband. Yep. Due to Dee Dee's actions, Gypsy was prescribed a litany of medications and had to sleep using a breathing machine. She also went through multiple surgeries, including procedures on her eyes and removal of her sal- salivary glands. <clears throat> When Gypsy's teeth rotted, perhaps due to her medications, missing salivary glands or neglect, they were pulled out. Which that in the act on Hulu was very dramatized, but I can imagine that would how it would be in real life. I mean, like, you get all of your teeth pulled out and you're like, well, now what? Like, why? Poor kid. And you're what, 19 years old at the time? 20? No, she was younger than that. She was younger. Wow. Well, we'll get into that. She was like fucking 20 but her mom was saying what she was like 15 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yet the truth that Gypsy could walk didn't need a feeding tube and didn't have cancer. Her head was bald only because her mother shaved off her hair. Experts also believe, or experts believe Dee Dee had a mental illness known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, also called factitious disorder imposed on another which made her fabricate her daughter's ill health in order to receive attention and sympathy for taking care of a sick child. So this was, what would we say? It was like being like a hypochondriac for another person. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, Medical tests often showed an inconclusive and contradictory results regarding Gypsy's diagnosis, but Dee Dee would stop seeing any doctors who questioned her daughter's ailments. And many caregivers went along with what Dee Dee wanted. She had some nurse's training so she could accurately describe symptoms, and she sometimes gave Gypsy medication to mimic certain conditions. Dee Dee was also charming and seemed devoted to her daughter. When Gypsy was old enough to talk, Dee Dee instructed her not to, involu- not to volunteer information during her appointments. She was always the one relating Gypsy's fake medical history. <clears throat> and one reason a lot of it was fake kind of going back in time because of Hurricane Katrina, they lost all of her medical records. So Dee Dee was essentially it was the source for yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, it was free game on whatever she told the doctors. They pretty much had to believe her because they didn't want to say, oh, well, that's not true because you don't have your medical records. You're not going to look at a yeah. Katrina victim and tell well, them that. Not only that, but even if they contacted a hospital where she formerly was seen at, they didn't have anything. No. Mm-hmm. So. She blamed it on everything. Went back to that hurricane. Mm-hmm. She could just yep. kind of make her own script from the beginning. Yep. Which one of the doctors said that he pretty much called bullshit from the beginning because the muscular dystrophy shit. Like, over time... It's going to your legs wouldn't have any muscles mm-hmm. on them. They would deteriorate. And he said she could stand. Like, yeah. on her own free will, she could stand. So he called bullshit from the beginning. How they just didn't, like, call her out early is what I've always questioned, like, in didn't all of this. did he put that in it? He put that in the report. The neurologist did. Did he? he yeah, said they highlighted he it in one of the one series. Of them put it in the report mm-hmm. that she, and he mentioned the, what's it called, that she was doing? The Munchausen's by proxy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that. Yeah, oh, he did. Nice. It said something about the mother, the mother's, um, gosh, it was, it highlighted it too. It was just like one sentence. Um, I can't remember what it said. Hmm. But one of the doctors that were interviewed in this Lifetime series, he even said, we can't contact Child Protective Services based off of belief. We have yeah. to have factual yep. information. Mm, yeah. That's and I so feel like that's yeah, fucking not, gray area yeah. bullshit. No, I feel like it's every person's right. Like it's their... Yeah, he even said, like, everybody keeps asking me, like, why I didn't do something. And he was like, I couldn't do anything. I feel like anybody can do anything. It's our duty. It's just you know, Give an anonymous. Can you do that shit anonymous? I don't know. I don't because know. Yes. it even yeah. followed up by saying yes. that Child Protective Services went to them and everything checked out. Everything was like mm-hmm. she was a sick kid and her mom was taking care of her and that was that. Yeah, Dee Dee had her trained. You got to yeah, think, you know. too, though, like... You always got to play both sides of it, right? Like, right. so it's a doctor, so, but you, you know, there's also been crazy doctors before. So mm-hmm. you can't just take everybody at their word. You actually do have to have facts because there's always that bad side of being a doctor. And then you risk losing your job. Gypsy yeah. said in one of her interviews when she was incarcerated, she the the inter, the producers of the show were giving her counts of what the doctor the doctor said said had happened. Gypsy says either I don't remember, am I crazy, or is it they're lying trying to cover their asses. Mm-hmm these doctors Mm -hmm. so Hmm. nobody will ever know Dee Dee told gypsy's father rod blanchard that their daughter had a chromosomal disorder that had led her to many health issues 
He complimented Dee Dee for her devoted care. When some of Dee Dee's family noticed that Gypsy didn't seem to need a wheelchair and asked questions, Dee Dee and Gypsy moved away. They did move a lot. Yeah. That was, they said that throughout everything that was documented about her, was they were always bouncing around everywhere. Mm-hmm. Every every time somebody would start to catch on to what Dee Dee was doing to her, she was like, gotta go. I feel kind of bad for the dad. Yeah. Yeah, it was, they met at what, a bowling alley, mm-hmm. uh, Dee Dee and Rod did, and like when he was like 19 or 18 and he got her pregnant and like people in the South, when you get somebody pregnant, it's traditional, you should marry him. And like a year into it, he said like, what am I doing? And he married a fucking crazy, <laughs> crazy psychopath. Dee Dee claimed to be a victim of Hurricane Katrina. So she and Gypsy received assistance to relocate from Louisiana to Missouri in 2005. There, Dee Dee continued to bring Gypsy to doctor's appointments. Hurricane Katrina also provided an excuse for missing medical files, what we just talked about. In 2008, Gypsy and Dee Dee moved into a new home in Springfield, Missouri. Built by Habitat for Humanity, it was painted pink and had a wheelchair ramp. Gypsy and Dee Dee also received benefits that included charity-sponsored visits to concerts and Disney World. All along, Dee Dee continued to bask in attention she received for being a devoted caretaker. Yeah, the house is crazy for me. The house? Yeah. They got it's a crazy. whole house. It's mm-hmm. it's crazy how, just going to the series on Hulu, how well they oh. rebuilt and recreated the house. Oh my gosh, yes. Like exact rec- replica. Yes, it's insane. It was just grimy. Yeah. yeah. Grimy. Benefit money and shit. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like perfectly playing the system. And it's crazy how... like. How intricate people can be when they're doing that. Like you, so you many, end up with so much stuff by literally just lying. So many people play the system; they yeah. just don't get caught. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think Gypsy felt knowing? Do you think she kind of knew what her mother was doing with like the money and shit? I don't think at the point of the house that she did. I don't know if she knew that much detail, but as far as like the health, like health, and medical herself. issues, she knew that obviously. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because she said she would get up and, like, walk around. Yeah, yeah. after her mom went to bed, she would just test to see if there were things that she could do. My thing is kind of, like, how much did she end up actually having wrong with her because of all this stuff that these medications and things she was given? That's something that that I never found out. Yeah, like, Mm -mm. I mean, like, the rotting teeth thing. Like, if you're taking stuff that your body just doesn't need, like, what could that actually do to you? A lot of the issues that she had were actually induced by the medication she was taking right. so she had real medical issues but prior to the medication she didn't yeah mm-hmm. there was pictures that i've seen of her like on the drugs and shit that Dee, Dee had taken and she looked bad awful like really bad like mm-hmm. someone that was on hospice deathbed yeah. type shit she admits to having a problem to becoming ad- addicted to certain pain mm-hmm. pills yeah. later on Getting in life them. yeah stealing them from her mom and poor kid Ugh. okay when Gypsy was 14, she saw a neurologist in Missouri who came to believe she was a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy. However, this doctor never reported her case to authorities. In later interviews, he stated his belief that there wasn't enough evidence to act. In 2009, an anonymous report was made to authorities stating that Dee Dee's accounts of Gypsy's ailments had no medical basis. So there was an anonymous report. Mm. This resulted in two caseworkers visiting their home, but Dee Dee convinced them that there was nothing wrong. How? I don't know. <laughs> How? I don't How? know. The ca- if the, she probably prepared for something like if this. If the caseworkers visited the home, you would think they'd search for all that fucking medica- medication. Because when they went in after everything was done the and, they, and they found the medication, yeah. they knew like yeah. right away. Those, I don't know. I've never been a part of anything like that, obviously, but those initial visits probably aren't as like intricate as they need to be though you know what i mean probably like, more they go in just trying to tr- yeah conversation trying to see if there's any suspicion that they yeah. can you know they don't really have a warrant they don't have a right to search your house right. like you don't even have mm. to let child services in your door if you don't want to right go in get the vibe and if mm-hmm. nothing seems crazy right off the bat then and she yeah. had a lot of times they probably trained. don't move forward yeah gypsy knew what to do yeah. Yeah. oh my i love my mom my mom you know takes care of me blah 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 mm-hmm as Gypsy grew older, Dee Dee began to lie about her age, going so far as to alter the dates on Gypsy's birth certificate to make her daughter seem younger. But Gypsy was still becoming harder for Dee Dee to control. In 2011, Gypsy tried to get away from her mother by running away with a man she had met at a science fiction conviction. But Dee Dee soon tracked them down via mutual friends. 
she convinced the man that Gypsy was a minor, though she was actually 19 at the time. According to Gypsy, Dee Dee smashed her computer and physically restrained her to her bed after they returned home. Gypsy has also stated her mother would sometimes hit her and deny her food. Which that's, I didn't know anything about that until I watched the Lifetime documentary. Didn't she tell her, she said, let's talk out on the porch. Mm-hmm. She said, I'll let you continue to see him mm-hmm. you know, if you as come long home as you come me. home. And as soon as they got home, she chained her to a bed mm-hmm. for two weeks and wouldn't give her food. Yeah. She would eat in front of her and like do things in front of her and Gypsy just had to lay there. What a bitch. The Lifetime oh. documentary, was that the real? That was yeah. from Gypsy herself. That, that, was, that was her fucked. account of yeah. everything that happened. She put yeah. a dog leash on handcuffs mm-hmm. and handcuffed her to the bed. Okay, so at right now I'm leaning more towards justified than anything. Like, I mean, you're a prisoner. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of with like what Erica said. At the end of the day, like, you know, there's laws and things for a reason. So it's like, not our place. It's, it's not anybody's place to go kill somebody. I mean, like, I don't know. I would have probably done the same thing. But at the end of the day, that's that's what. Let life let is. the jury decide. Let the judge decide what the sentence is. It's not our place. Yeah, because yeah, then you just end up in prison like she did. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess you gotta yeah, wonder. I just feel like I have to take into consideration all of the things mm-hmm. that she put that poor girl through. Right. And if you were Gypsy, like, yeah. I'm getting you back. I'm sorry, you're dead. Like, I would. The thing to me though is, if you can escape to go live with a man that you just met, you can escape and go to the police. Yes, and at that point, she knew yeah. that there was something wrong, so she Absolutely. could have just. That's why she wanted to escape. Yeah, and I just went... feel like her mom had her so brainwashed. Oh, absolutely, though, she did. She, didn't she know definitely did. How bad it was, yeah. maybe, or most yeah. of what was going on. Yeah. She just knew she didn't want to do it anymore. Right. Yeah. So yep. another angle too. You got to think what we just talked about a minute ago. She was addicted to some of the drugs too. Mm-hmm. So when that's your only place to get them. Yeah. You know, to run and go to the police or go back to where I can have the drugs that I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very true. Or need. You know, I wouldn't say want. You know, a lot of people yeah. that be point, out of that yeah, lifestyle. But, yeah. This is a very opinionated case. Like, it people is. have very strong opinions oh, about man. this shit. I stand yeah, with Gypsy at the end of the day. Yeah. I stand with Gypsy. Yeah. I do, too. Like, I, I stand with her, too. Yeah. I mean. I'm glad she's out of prison. I will say that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say that she deserved to die. But I would say that I do not blame Gypsy. I, yeah. I oh, I absolutely Gypsy don't blame her. But yeah, on the same token, I don't think she deserved to die. Especially the way that she died. Yeah, like, that's the, brutal. Bro. All about like <laughs> just left for rot if you're Gypsy. Like, let her get that treatment let her in prison. Go to prison and deal with what she's got to deal with from mm-hmm. there on. Like, I think that's almost the easy way out. You kill her. Like, the revenge would have been sweeter if you just let her go to prison. Yeah. And rot. Absolutely. Yeah. She probably like, wasn't thinking about that. No, though. no. But she also had that. You know the boyfriend at the time who also looked like he was. We're about to get. We're about to get into him. <laughs> we're about to get into him. That's uh. I think in the moment though, Gypsy's thinking life or death, to her because uh, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Gypsy eventually managed to get back online. This is kind of ironic. Brother. Ironic <laughs> as fuck. She joined a Christian dating site where she met Nicholas Gold- Godijan. She told him the truth about her mother's actions and ended up asking him to kill Dee Dee so they could be together. So they really, like, on Christian dating sites, this dude is just chilling, <laughs> like, on a Christian dating sites with everything that he was into. He was oh into gosh. some weird shit. He was twisted. Didn't he go or get in trouble for um, fondling himself in McDonald's yeah. parking lot? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> What? For nine hours, that dude was sitting there. Oh what? Wait, it was in the lobby at McDonald's. I, it was was it the lobby? It yes. Oh, my God. I just remember it was McDonald's. At some yeah. point, what? when does it just go raw? Oh, my <laughs> lordy. Oh, my gosh. Nine hours? Why didn't somebody call the police sooner? He's saying he sat yeah. there for nine hours. And I didn't The know. ninth hour, they were like, you're weird. <laughs> I didn't know it was nine, nine hours? They're That's back there. They're back there taking orders. Can I get number one and shit? And they're just like, ma- just making the burgers, just like staring yeah, at this. He's dude. still here. <laughs> like, he's still doing it. <laughs> Woo! He was a weird motherfucker. Weird. He mm. had some shit for sure. Yeah. In 2015, he came to her house and stabbed Dee Dee while Gypsy waited, her ears covered in the bathroom. It even goes before this. They met at the movie theater for the first yes, time. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. At the Absolutely. movie theater. Was it the live action Cinderella? I live, think so. Live action Cinderella. They were the only three people in the yes, movie theater. Yes, and Dee yeah. was telling Gypsy how weird he was because he's coming to see a Cinderella movie with no uh, girlfriend and no kids. Yeah. yeah. Which, 
I mean, I did that last week. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. The uh, gypsy actually ordered his clothes and she ordered him nice clothes. So, like, Dee Dee would think, you know, he was a good looking, mm-hmm. handsome, presentable kid. And they went into the uh, the bathroom. Oh, I, was, I thought he was did handsome. Did some freaky stuff. You thought he was handsome? Yeah, I thought he was good looking. Uh, Atta boy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> did you think it was, Roll did you with think it. he was handsome when he was touching himself for nine hours at McDonald's? In the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been better if he had a double cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right. Onward. Onward. Gypsy and Godajan returned to his home in Wisconsin, where they were found by police. Gypsy had twice posted to the Facebook account she shared with her mother, once writing that bitch is dead. She later explained she made the post because she wanted her mother's body to be discovered. Because she started catching on to how crazy nick was no shit like she got there and was like he really doesn't have his life together and he's really not going to be able to provide this life for me so like then she was really trapped so something uh kind of uh i don't want to really bad and like discretion when i say this um he told gypsy that he wanted to Mm -hmm. our word her mother yeah, he had yeah. considered it as what he told Yeah, and he had considered it. And yeah. Gypsy didn't want her mother to go through that, so she told Nicholas to do it to her instead. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much what happened. Yep. Yeah. Weird <gasps> fact. Do you guys know that Facebook account still exists? <gasps> no. And, no. And even you click on it, it's D. Gyps Blanchard. And as soon as you click on it, it has the remembering D. Gyps Blanchard. And the post is the very latest not, one. Uh. The only thing that's not there is Gypsy's comment back to everybody that says, "Yeah, um, I did this and mm-hmm. I did that, and I." Mm-hmm. But yeah, Your sweet innocent daughter. Yes, yeah. um, but the original post is still there with all that's the comments. Bonkers. Oh. Yeah. Holy cow. I, know that. Wow. I got curious. After D, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After Dee Dee's murder, many people who had known Gypsy wondered why she had gone so far as to kill her. So since she could walk, she simply could have exposed Dee Dee's lies by standing up in public. Yet Gypsy had been conditioned to think no one would believe her. She explained, "I couldn't just jump out of the wheelchair because I was afraid, and I didn't know what my mother would do. I didn't have anyone to trust." Hmm. I feel like we've skipped so much because I did want to talk about her life with her grandpa too. I didn't know about any of that. Either. You can get in, you can get into that because yeah. I didn't know so, that. Yeah. I didn't know After that. Katrina, they were living with Dee Dee's dad and stepmom, mm-hmm. and at one point, her and her grandpa were doing something. I don't remember. And what was it? Um, Roundup. And she says, "Oh yeah, she was poisoning. That's, that's mommy's yeah. vitamins. Vitamins that she puts yeah. in so and so the step grandma's food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was poisoning her stepmom. Yeah." yeah. And then um, Gypsy interviews on this Lifetime series and said that her grandpa used to touch her and do all mm-hmm. this stuff. Producers confronted him. And he's like, I didn't know. He's I never I did that. that. She tried to do it to me and I had to tell her no. Yeah. And then after they just like stared at each other for so long, he was like, well, around sh- the time she was four years old, she would try to touch me and I had to tell her, no, don't do that. Ugh. No, dude, you fucking did it. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just kept going. Hmm. Yeah, well, I didn't know that they, they confronted him. I didn't yeah. They did. That. With the and camera, the I was like, ah, <laughs> same. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And he just yeah. sat there. He was like, hmm. And I don't then, know why she would say that. Yeah. And the producers basically went back and told Gypsy, and she was like, I never want to have a relationship with that man. If he would have been honest, I could have let bygones be go- bygones. Basically, mm-hmm. now he can go rot in his grave. Ooh. Yeah, that's gross. Well, he's yeah. She's out. Yeah. Yikers! Uh, I mean, after so many people see this, like the truth, the truth's coming out. So, insane. yeah, I mean, good on her though. That lifetime thing was crazy. Should have poisoned him. The fact that Gypsy had spent her life being controlled and monitored by her mother, she wasn't allowed to go to school. Or the fact was that Gypsy had spent her entire life being controlled by and monitored by her mother. She wasn't allowed to go to school. Although Gypsy was of normal intelligence, Dee Dee told everyone her her daughter had a mental age of seven. When they were out in public, Dee Dee con- er, constantly held Gypsy's hand, squeezing it when she wanted her daughter to be quiet. Yeah, and you can see that in all of the mm-hmm. stuff that goes back. She's always holding Gypsy's hand. Mm-hmm. Always. Dr. Mark Feldman, an expert in Munchausen syndrome by proxy, said of Gypsy's lives and actions, and I quote, The control was total in the same sense that the control of a kidnapped victim sometimes is total. 
Her daughter was, in essence, a hostage, and I think we can understand the crime that occurred subsequently in terms of a hostage trying to gain escape. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. As Gypsy's medical records documented the abuse she had been subjected to, her lawyer was able to arrange a plea deal for the charges she faced in Dee Dee's death. In 2016, Gypsy pled guilty to second-degree murder. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison and served 85% of her sentence before being released on December 28th of 2013, or 2023. So when Gypsy walked in, like, when she walked to, like, uh, plead guilty and everything, and everybody just seen her walk, and, like, people were just stunned. Baffled. Stunned. Yeah. I think the original charge, though, that they were trying to get her with was first degree, but then I think the state and the defen- defense attorneys agreed that... I think that's what the plea deal was. was plea, yeah. yeah, because yeah. they agreed that basically what she had gone through wasn't the malicious intent that and normally like, comes with first yeah. degree murder. Well, and that's mm-hmm. why the boyfriend got first too. Cause that's usually mm-hmm. the plea is to like use you to go against the other person. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was vicious. Oh, like absolutely. it was vicious. How it was. That dude was clearly off his rocker. Mm-hmm. He Even probably would end up doing that regardless. Yeah. He's in yeah. there for life though. I he got that. life. Yeah. 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 Go to John was found guilty of first degree murder in 2018 was sentenced to life in prison. And she Gypsy. testified against him. Yes. That's crazy. Yep. Gypsy has stated it was only after Dee Dee's death that she realized the extent of her mother's deception. While Gypsy had known she could walk and eat regular food, she had believed she had leukemia. Today, Gypsy is healthy. She also has said she enjoyed more freedom in prison than in the life she shared with Dee Dee. That's a strong statement. Yeah, that's wild right there. Um, however, when asked by Dr. Phil, this is a great interview, if she was glad her mother was dead, she stated, I'm glad that I'm out of that situation, but I'm not happy she's dead. Yeah. Yeah. And Dr. Phil is pretty much asking her all the tough questions like, you know, why did you do it? Like, are you happy your mother's dead? And just, it's it's rough, man. At the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do to survive. And she, she was not surviving. She was just mom. she was just trying to get out. She said her mom was like calling her name out while she was getting stabbed. And that yeah. was just And then it went silent. Mm. That that's just hard to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard to watch. I mean, I know that that's dramatized, but it was yeah. hard to watch. I didn't see I didn't I didn't get that far in the act. Mm. Like cuz I just it's I was telling Eric it's just it's hard for me to watch that stuff. Yeah. It's very hard for me to watch that stuff. I can like listen to interviews and stuff, but watching that stuff it's very hard yeah, for I me. Yeah, I didn't watch any of that stuff. I just watched some interviews and I watched like, Got the story. That's got what I did. I watched it when it first came out. It was yeah. a few years ago on Hulu. Yeah. And I was stunned back then, yeah. but watching it again, it's just crazy how accurate. Accurate. Holy yeah. in Gypsy's shit. words. And that just came out. Like that was just yeah. released by Lifetime. Yes. So the accuracy of how close Hulu got it to like the yeah. real story is crazy. Insane. They had Patricia Arquette play DD. She and nailed like, it. And yeah, like in watched, a fat we suit. Watched a little bit of it, Ooh. but I didn't really pay yeah. attention. Yeah. I only knew it was Patricia Arquette because of the eyes. I looked at Erica, I was like, is that Patricia Arquette? And Erica looked it up. She was like, Yeah, that's Patricia Arquette. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, Gypsy was released on December 28th, 2023, and she's happily married and plans on releasing a tell-all book and is happy to be able to finally start her new life over. She got straight on Facebook, too. Oh, <laughs> she got on Selfies Instagram. with the husband, all that, bro. Talking, telling the whole world how she, her husband has that fire D. Boing. She gets it every time. <laughs> she straight up said that. Oh, she went to the mattress, the mattress store instantly. And this uh-huh. dude looks like Peter Griffin. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like Peter Griffin. Man. But, yeah, I mean, that's Gypsy Rose. What do we think? Yeah. I will start off. I personally think I'm happy that she had to serve time for what she did. Mm-hmm. In the sense, I'm also happy that she is released and is able to live a normal life that she didn't get to live as a child. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did the crime. She has to do the time. She served her time, and hopefully this is, you know, like a road to recovery for her to start fresh with her dad and stepmom and her husband. Yeah, and she talked about, like, she's thankful that she had prison time because the transition from being under her mom all the time to going into the real world world after killing her mom she's like i don't think i would have been able to make that transition very well that's a good point being in prison 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 was like therapy she said the one thing that she didn't get in prison is therapy 
So she's looking forward to therapy, like actual therapy when she gets yeah. out. Um, she said that she obviously had some time to like sit and reflect and talk, but like nobody was actually like helping her get through it. Mm -hmm. She talked about her relationship with Ryan and how it came about. And she was like, both of us need therapy when I get out. Like both of us are going to go through what it. Ryan, is that the husband? Ryan? The is that husband. the husband? Yeah. So we just we just listened to this. So Ryan and his buddy made bets. Made bets. So his buddy was gonna write the Tiger King. Yeah. And he was gonna write Gypsy, and they wanted to see who can get a response. Now he's married. To her. And now he's married oh, to hell Gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Ryan, bro. But was it for like the publicity? Publicity, like knowing I, that she was gonna go for try to get parole. I don't know. And it's hard this to is tell. A national you have to. Story. You have to think to. Your, I don't think so because you have to think there's a lot of baggage that comes with that. Yeah, and so. he in the end of the lifetime thing when they interview him, he talks about like. I know what I'm getting into, but I love her. I didn't get to watch that. And he seems pretty genuine. I mean, I didn't get any like red flags from anything. I mean, her entire family met him. They were like, we're going to make sure oh, that absolutely. he's. Yeah. yeah. And everybody was like, he seems genuine and sweet. And he's like obsessed with her. No, that's good. Like what that's good. ready to. Ladies first, what do you think, babe? Hot mic. Justified or unjustified. After hearing it all. I would have did the same thing, so I can't blame her. I'm going to ask another tough question after this. It's justified, but I would also say that maybe she didn't deserve to die the way that she did, but she really did ruin a huge part of Gypsy's life. And a very important and, part. Yeah. And probably did some long-term damage as well. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I also wonder if everything that Gypsy was on medication-wise will prevent her from having children in the future. You know? I don't She'll know. be able to have her own family one day. I don't know. Makes me I, curious. I think uh, I see it from both sides, really. Like, I could see where most people would probably do the same thing if they're in that situation. Um, end up killing their mom or whoever it may be if they're in that similar just situation. I don't Say that one more time. Yeah. Killing your mom. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, like, if you're basically a prisoner your whole life and you know things aren't the right way and you see no other way out. I can see why that happens. Yeah. Do I agree with it? No. But at the same time, like none of us have ever been in her shoes to True. to know yeah. that. So yeah. I mean at the end of the day, like I said, I see it from both sides. I don't really I don't really it's easy to say what we say justified done. or anything yeah. like that. But yeah. I think the thing that gets me is like I see both sides of it, but it also really frustrates me that she abused Nick go to John's like mental mm. and like she took, took advantage, advantage of, of how out of it he was and like yeah. that frustrates me because I don't think that he stood a fighting chance like he really thought that he was like knight in shining armor he's gonna save her and get her out of this and like nothing was gonna come of it and she thought that too I mean she even said like I didn't think that anything was gonna come of it like she was just dead mm -hmm. and I think that is the part that gets me but at the same time like, like again she was doing what she thought she had to do to get out of it and mm -hmm. they were in love mm -hmm. now what if do you think if gypsy would have been the one with the knife do you think that she deserved would have deserved a life if she was the one that did it mm. i mean they hand the, the that sentence down to the dude that that killed her mom so i mean i don't know whether she did or didn't do it, she was just as guilty because she conspired. She told him what to do. She, you know, left the door unlocked. She said, this is the room that she's in. She was just as guilty and as him. She, that's she where I can understand people's point of view saying that she didn't serve enough time. Yeah. And that's where I could understand that point of view. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. You know, the justice system's so flawed in so many ways because at the end of the day, like other people that you know, commit the same crime, end up with more time and go go to jail for life. It's like you pick and choose and it happens all the time. Yeah. So it's like you never know what's going to come with things like that. Right. No. Yeah. I don't know. I still stand with Gypsy. Yeah. Whether yeah. she did or didn't serve enough time. Regardless, I hope she lives a long, healthy life and I hope she can get mental health Yeah. Absolutely. therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But hold on. Don't do it. <laughs> What? So what do you guys think would have happened if she didn't kill her mother and it came out one day that her mom ripped all these people off, played the government, played the doctors? Like what? 
I would have loved to have seen that out. trial play oh out. Oh my gosh. I would have loved to have seen DD. The thing get is, is, I don't know. I don't know if we would see it. I think one because day I Gypsy think you would eventually I th- have. Mm-hmm. How she get away from it though? But I think but the thing is, is like if that would have happened, I don't know if we know about this case because I, think I don't. It would have been a national story as much as the public was involved in this and charities and Habitat for Humanity. Mm-hmm. Like that is a big deal. She would have got a lot of time because she would have got she would have got well she would have got child abuse. She would have got neglect of a child. She would have got. Yeah, and they just stack that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she would have went down for sure. Like 40, 50? Yeah, because she ripped charges, off the government. Charges, all types of stuff, man. Yeah. She got hit two times. But there's so many more cases out there like this, we just don't know about them. Mm-hmm. This is like a real mental disorder, and not everybody gets caught. Yeah. Yep. So. But I think we'll wrap it up right there. Uh, follow the socials. Next week, we got another good one coming. Go check out the aliens in Miami. Go yeah, check out the aliens I'm of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Mm-hmm.